How you doing, YouTube? Matt, Massive Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of a Christmas review. Um, yeah, it is Christmas Eve, and I felt like cracking open a fun little beer. And we're going to do a little bit of Cantillon Rosé de Gambrinus. Um, I've had this before. I have not reviewed it before. It's actually one of my favorite beers. Why? Because it essentially follows what they do with the creek. But instead of doing that kind of cherry thing with their creek, they're doing it with raspberries. Creek is one of my favorite Cantillon beers. So, yeah. Um, house full of people upstairs. Wanted to open something nice. Put on the old Christmas sweater for y'all. And figured, you know, I'm going to post a butt ton of beer uh, videos on Christmas Day. Uh, you're going to get uh, my best ofs. Basically, you're going to be hit with like seven or eight videos uh, in a day. But I figured, still got to do a beer review. So, might as well get this one in the can. Throw it at the same day. Get a little festive going on for you guys. So here we go. Uh, Cantillon, uh, Brewers of Belgium, Most Authentic Lambic, uh, Rosé de Gambrinus, uh, Blended Lambic Beer Brewed with Raspberries. On the back here it says, A blend of the world's greatest lambics with whole raspberries fermented light in a cask, Belgium's most famous frambois lambic. Um, Store and ser serve at cellar temperature, uh, 50 to 55. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And this is uh, almost a year old. Wish it was a little bit older. It's uh, from February 2018. And like I said, this is the 24th of December, so you take that for what it's worth when you see this. And yeah, it's Cantillon through and through on the label. You know, they do the old um, Shelton Brothers Sows label in the back, and it's got the classic up front, green bottle, cork, and whatnot. Pennsylvania Shelf, you thank you very much. Yeah, uh, it's kind of crazy how um, these beers have uh, gotten more and more readily available. Not that it's still readily available, but... More times than not, you know, these are one of those beers you have to trade for. But, uh, but you know, these have been popping up on shelves in and around PA more and more often lately. So we'll see what's what. Try to give this a proper pour for you lambic pour nerds out there that if I get any kind of sediment in here, you're just going to go ape shit and freak the fuck out like you did with my fucking creek review. So there you go. Look at that. Uh, stone clear. Freshly washed glass. Not a whole lot of dirty glass mafia going on, but I tell you what, I wash the living crap out of this glass. This is my long stem tulip that I reserve for beers like this. And uh, yeah, I got a little dirty glass mafia going on, but I tried. Tried my best. Still let you guys down. Uh, you know, uh, you essentially have a sparkling kind of red, sparkling champagne um, vibe to it. The way the carbonation's coming off the bottom, how the beer looks, it has that deep, rich red kind of glow to it. Um, definitely looks all the parts of a raspberry beer. Looks pretty as hell. Looks very Christmas. Got the nice green over here, nice red over there. Just kind of makes sense. Get a nose. Just that rich red fruit. I'm not going to sit here and say it's just popping me in the face with a very distinct uh, raspberry. Uh, it's a red fruit. It's not necessarily cherry. It's definitely raspberry leaning, but it's not like crazy in your face. The fruit portion of the show is, but it's not raspberry distinct. If it is raspberry distinct to me, it's more in a kind of powdery, yeasty, skinny kind of way, not like the actual fleshiness. There's really not much as far as... Um, like a richness or a depth of like funkiness or anything like that it smells like crisp it smells clean you, you know it's a wild beer while at the same time it's not overtly kind of acidic or lactic or anything like that but yeah more and more i smell it that raspberry is coming off like i said like kind of fleshy kind of powdery when i say that it's kind of like you almost um if you get that kind of that, that uh, yeast that's actually on the fruit itself. Sometimes you eat it, you get a little bit of that. So it's a little bit of dry kind of raspberry vibes to it. And it's almost like you crunch down a little bit of a stem, not a stem even, like a little bit of a seed that kind of has this earthy, bittering component to it. That's kind of what you're getting in the nose. Yeah. It smells like exactly what I want to drink tonight, to be honest with you. Yeah. Just going to dive right in. Merry Christmas. Mmm. Yeah, buddy. Mm. That's beautiful, you know? It, 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 it's, it's so fruit forward without... How do I put it this way? It's infinitely fruit forward, but it's still infinitely all beer. Sometimes, I mean, they even talk about the whole frambois on here. I mean, when you think about frambois like Lindemans and stuff like that, you're, you, you know, that's kind of like, not even frambois, that's kind of like just sugar water with frambois written on it. Um, 
it, 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 sometimes they can get a little bit fruit forward, especially in a lot of the American breweries who kind of mimic that style. It just becomes almost fruit smoothie-esque in vibe. You're definitely getting the fruit here. It's big, it's bold. Again, it's not super descript raspberry. It's raspberry leaning, but it's not like you're getting punched in the face with a sweet, fleshy raspberry. It's more, like I said, those kind of that coating of the raspberry, with a little bit of kind of earthy seediness going on, but there's still that lambic in there. Nice marriage of young and old. You know, it's 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 got this nice <sighs> subtle subtle acidity to it um but has enough sweetness enough of that earthiness what i believe you're getting it from the fruit kind of or maybe even it's just an old hop thing to balance everything off it's just a super drinkable beer exactly what i wanted to drink tonight exactly what i thought it would be does that make me go into it with a little preconceived notion sure just looking for a little murk ring there if there was one um but yeah it's just tasty stuff. It's just a beautiful beer made in a beautiful way. It's, I don't think it's an otherworldly thing that is 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 so much far and ahead of what a lot of people do, um, uh, lambic wise. Um, but it's distinct. It, it's Cantillon to a T, and that in and of itself is a beautiful thing. I mean, they make killer beers. They make great beers. A lot of people go gaga over the beers for good measure. But at the same time, what this is is really, really well done. Um, you know, raspberry lambic. Um, that, while it's not going to wow you with in-your-face flavor, it's going to wow you with technical... <sighs> not nimbleness, but execution. You know, it's just done so well. Drinks so well. Exactly what I wanted in this moment, so it's fitting me perfectly. So there you go. A little bit of uh, tasty notes, a little bit of esoteric kind of personal thoughts in there. And that's what you usually get when I talk about shit. So anyway, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better um, Lambic that I've had at as late? Still, yeah, absolutely it is. Uh, value and availability, I forget what I paid for this. 15 bucks, 15, 16 bucks off the shelf. In PA, you know, it is what it is. And leave you with, if you like what, will you like this? If you like Wild Ale, if you like... Um, if you like fruit beers, and if you like, you know, uh, easy drinking, well-made beers, um, I'm, I'm trying to see a lot of times when people go into beers like this, and if they're especially new to beer, they kind of assume that it's going to be something off the wall, crazy, impactful in a kind of two by four, the face kind of way. That's not what you're going to get here. So if you're looking for refined and well executed um, uh, wild beer, this is this is it. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you're having awesome holidays. Uh, if you have any questions, have any comments, anything like that, you can go down there, right down there. Uh, let's see. Um, Massive Beers. G uh, you can check me out doing all that stuff on the Instagrams and the Facebooks and all that stuff. Beer Massive is where you find me doing the whole podcasting thing. You can check me out I'm talking to a bunch of brewers and stuff like that. And There you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying a beautiful holiday beer right now, whatever you may be celebrating, and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.